thousands of years of breeding from animals that are best at producing most milk has led to cows like these. They're very good at converting their food into milk. All animals produce milk to feed their young, but these animals produce far more than is needed for that alone, which means there's plenty to spare for us. Most dairy farmers, which is what milk farmers are called, keep their cows separately from their calves. The calves are kept in special pens to keep them warm and dry. They're fed milk, but from a bucket or from a special drinker, like a big baby's bottle, rather than straight out of their mum. A cow will give milk for nine to ten months, after which time she has a two-month rest before being put in calf again. Meanwhile, during the spring, summer and autumn, the dairy cows will be out grazing, eating as much grass as they want and drinking lots and lots of water. This is needed for them to make the milk you need. Twice, or sometimes three times a day, they will walk back to the farm buildings to be milked. In the milking parlour, the cow's udder and teats are washed and dried to make sure they are clean, and then the milking machine is put on. This gently sucks and squeezes, just like a calf sucking on its mother, until all the milk is gone. While she is being milked, the cow will probably be given some extra food. This will give her any extra nutrients she needs to keep her healthy, strong and productive, because producing perhaps as much as 10,000 litres of milk each year, as well as a calf, is hard work. The cows will produce milk for 10 months of the year, so they do get a couple of months off. But because not all of the herd will be resting or dry at the same time, somebody has to milk the herd twice a day, every day of the year. It's a tough job, with very early mornings, and if cows need help when they are calving, very late and disturbed nights, in all weathers. Not only does the cowman care for the cows, the milking parlour and all the equipment have to be kept clean, must be sterilised after each milking. This is to make sure that the milk is healthy and safe to drink. And both the milk and the milking parlour have to be tested regularly by official inspectors to make sure that it stays that way. During the winter months when little grass grows and the pastures can be very wet and muddy, the cows are usually kept indoors. This means more work for the dairymen. We must make sure all the cow muck is cleaned away and that the cows have plenty of food to eat. This is usually grass that was cut the previous summer and either dry to make hay or silage, much as it has been for hundreds of years. Drying is a way of preserving food, but another way farmers preserve grass is by making silage. Silage is a way of pickling grass to keep all the nutrients. Some farmers also make silage out of maize, which is another sort of grass. Dairy cows are not the only animals that are housed. 